Hi everyone, welcome back to the Web3 channel. My name is Zach. Today we're looking at Bitcoin miners taking a fresh 20% Bitcoin price hit before capsulating. As the data shows, we're going to be going over the state, if you like, of Bitcoin mining right now, especially in the very early stages of 2022. Production costs for miners are around $34,000 and together with transaction fees, miners need not to worry about another $40,000 support challenge on Bitcoin. The Bitcoin mining business is bigger than ever at current price levels and new data shows just how unlikely a mass miner sell-off really is. As noted by popular Twitter account Venture Founder on January 14, even at $42,000, the Bitcoin USD trading pit is around 20% above miner's cost price. Miner calculation behind worst Bitcoin price dips. Despite falling a full 27,000 below an all-time high, Bitcoin is more enticing than ever for miners. Hash rate, an estimate of the total processing power dedicated to mining, reached uh, new all-time highs this week. Let's have a quick look soon at why that is and what's going on there. There was concern that a fresh Bitcoin price strip could pressure mining, miners into selling. Meanwhile, received fresh assurances via data covering how much Bitcoin USD should trade at for them to break even. Let's quickly have a look at what's going on here. Bitcoin hash rate jumps to all-time high as Jack Dorsey confirms blocks mining system. Bitcoin's hash rate hits new all-time high as Jack Dorsey tweets that Block is officially building an open Bitcoin mining system. So of course Jack Dorsey left Twitter as CEO last year and it looks like he's on to more Web3 uh, ventures. Bitcoin's hash rate has returned to all-time highs despite losing a key hash rate contributor. Meanwhile, a mid-look last uh, price action, Block CEO. Jack Dorsey confirmed the creation of an open Bitcoin mining system. The Bitcoin space continues to surprise and bewilder critics and fanatics alike. Kazakhstan, the network's second most important Bitcoin mining country, experienced an internet blackout last week due to civil unrest. However, the hash rate faltered no more than 13.4% before regathering to reach all-time highs, as shown in the data below from Glassnode, with the price checking into $42,000 range on Thursday. The mean hash rate hit 250 million terahashes per second, as we can see right here. Bitcoin miners continue to show resilience and as Fidelity Digital Assets observed, the network is even more widely distributed around the world. Cointelegraph previously reported that Block would develop open source Bitcoin mining systems in 2022 based on job pursuits on LinkedIn. On Thursday, Dorsey confirmed the hunt, retweeting comments made by Thomas Templeton, a general manager at Block. In the Twitter thread, Templeton addressed issues relating to the availability, reliability, performance, and products pertaining to Bitcoin mining. In sum, Block's goals for Bitcoin mining are the following. We want to make mining more distributed and efficient in every way, from buying to setup to maintenance to mining. We're interested because mining goes far beyond creating new Bitcoin. We see it as a long-term need for a future that is fully decentralized and permissionless. Building a Bitcoin mining system out in the open and alongside the community is no mean feat. Econalchemist an established home Bitcoin miner and Bitcoin magazine contributor tweeted that developing products in open source, in open source would build trust where no reputation exists currently and also might shift consumer expectations in that direction. Ultimately, blocks mining solutions may pave the way for more DIY miners to enter the space. It seems the sky is the limit for Bitcoin's hash rate. Well, at least until the next 2016 blocks from the network difficulty resets. Going back to the original article, once I have my glasses of water. Pardon me again. There was concern that a fresh Bitcoin price strip could pressure miners into selling. Meanwhile, received fresh assurances via data covering. Of course, we've seen this already. Referencing the Bitcoin production cost indicated from Charles Edwards, CEO of asset manager Capriol, venture founder reveals that the break even point currently stands at $34,000. US The worst dumps Bitcoin ever had were due to miners calculation, December 2018 to March. 2020 when bitcoin fell between production costs it is at risk for minor capitulation bitcoin was at risk for minor capitulation at thirty thousand dollars in may the current production cost is thirty four thousand dollars twenty percent below current price which we can see right here as such, there is no reason for miners to sell thanks to the profitability as well as future perspective of their operations. In a Medium blog post about his indicator from 2019, Edwards additionally noted that transaction fees awarded to miners give them an additional cushion against spot price incursion insertions below production cost. Historically, the electrical cost to produce a Bitcoin has represented a, a price floor in the Bitcoin market price. Another insight reads, mining shrugs off spot price moves this year. 
as Coin Telegraph reported, miners are indeed voting with their wallets as Bitcoin consolidates below fifty thousand dollars. Rather than selling miners, on mass have been accumulating Bitcoin more this month and less than. Uh, during the highs. This speaks both to a healthy balance sheet and resolve over the future. Fears of economic difficulties on the horizon are not currently weighing on the mining sector. Let's have a quick look at what's going on here when it comes to accumulating Bitcoin. Key on chain metric shows Bitcoin miners in massive Bitcoin accumulation mode. Data shows lost and held Bitcoin hitting a one year high while miners opened the year by accumulating massive amounts of Bitcoin. New data shows that Bitcoin miners are hoarding more coins than at any time in the past five months, which could be a fresh signal that the current prices are not for selling. Analyzing its part minor net position change indicator on January 11, on chain analytics firm Glassnode revealed what popular Twitter account Bitcoin Archive described as a massive of accumulation by miners. Miners show no desire to sell because may be disappointing spot traders this year, but long time market participants are anything but concerned. Of course, in addition to strong hands or seasoned hodlers, miners are now no exception, increasing their Bitcoin holdings considerably in the first two weeks, as we see right here, which of course we have seen some very different results at different points back in February of 21. The Bitcoin for uh, the fast, sorry, the past five days have each seen more than 5,000 Bitcoins per day on miners' books with accumulation in fact ongoing since before November 69k all-time highs. Further data from fellow on-chain analytics service CryptoQuant spotlighted the extent to which miners have regained their Bitcoin real estate since May's China upheaval. Total Bitcoin reserves were 1.859 million Bitcoin as of Monday, the most since a marked reduction at the end of 2020 after Bitcoin USD passed its previous ATHs off from 2017. Hodling the hardest since last January, returning to stronger hands a proportion of the Bitcoin supply demand sorry, deemed either lost or ferreted away by long-term investors hit a one-time year high this, uh, this week. Underscoring the conviction of hodlers, 7.27 million Bitcoin is now off the market, possibly forever. The metric also saw a bottom of the over the summer thanks to the price disruption wrought by China's ban on mining. By contrast, Glassnode shows an accumulation trend has been accelerating since $69,000, as we can see right here. And then going over to the other article about most bullish macro backdrop in 70 years, five things to watch in Bitcoin this week. Again, going back from the original article, of course, everything and nothing on the channel. Sorry, to be very clear, nothing on this channel should be con considered financial advice. Can 2022 still turn out to be a bull year? Not many believe so, but short-term volatility should pass nonetheless, analysts say this week. Bitcoin starts a new week in a strange place, one that is eerily similar to where it was this time last year. After what various... Sources have described as an entire 12 months of consolidation. Bitcoin USD is around $42,000, almost exactly where it was in week two of January 2021. The ups and downs in between have been significant, but essentially Bitcoin remains in the midst of a now familiar range. The outlook varies depending on the perspective. Some believe that new all-time highs are more than possible this year, while others are calling for many more consolidatory, consolidatory months. With crypto sentiment at some of its lowest set levels in history, Cointelegraph takes a look at what could change the status quo on shorter timeframes in the coming days. Will 40.7k hold? Bitcoin saw a trying weekend as the latest in a series of abrupt downwards uh, moves saw 40k support an inch closer. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView showed Bitcoin USD hitting 40.7k on major exchanges before bouncing a correction that has since held. Ironically, it was that level that was in focus on the same day in 2021, which nonetheless came during what turned out to be the most the more vertical phase of Bitcoin's recent bull run. Last September also returned to the focus to 40,700, which acted as a turning point after several weeks of correction and ultimately saw Bitcoin USD climb to 69,000 all-time highs. Now, however, the chances of a breakdown to the $30,000 zone are unreservedly higher among analysts. Weekly close is just around the corner. Ret capital summarized alongside a chart with target levels. Theoretically, there is a chance that Bitcoin could perform a quick weekly close above 43200 to enjoy a green week next week. Weekly close under 43200 however, and Bitcoin could revisit the red area below. As we see right here, Bitcoin ultimately closed at 42,000 since hovering at around that level in what could turn out to be some temporary relief for bulls. I think market puts 
it in a in a lower high if ever trader and analyst Pentoshi forecast adding that he believes 40,700 will ultimately fall before we continue to go forward I want to quickly go back to what we were actually looking at, at the beginning just in case you were looking to learn more about the calculating data rather than selling miners in mass etc this speaks both on a healthy balance sheet and resolve over the future fears of economic difficulty on the ha on the horizon are not currently weighing on the mining sector. We see currently here the hash rate going forward. Current worst case scenario estimates among well-known analysts foresee a Bitcoin price floor no longer than $30,000. Going back to the article that we were looking at, if I can get back there which I think we are. Consensus forms over a dire outlook for cash. The macro picture this week is particularly complicated for risk asset, fa asset fans, with Bitcoin and altcoins no exception. What the future holds, however, varies considerably from one pundit to another. The, unit start US, the USFR is broadly seen to start raising interest rates in the coming months, this making investors de-risk and causing a headache for crypto bulls. Easy money, which began flowing in March 2020, will now be much harder to come by. The bearish viewpoint was summarized neatly by X Bitmex. CEO Arthur Hayes in his latest blog post last week. Let's forget what non-crypto investors believe. My read on the sentiment of crypto investors is that they na naively believe network and user growth fundamentals of the entire complex will allow crypto assets to continue their upward trajectory unabated. To me, this presents the setup for a severe washout as the pernicious effects of rising interest rates on future cash flows will likely prompt speculators and investors at the margin to dump or severely reduce their crypto holdings. This week sees the US Consumer uh, Price Index data for December released, numbers that will likely feed into the story of surprise inflation gains. Hayes is far from alone in worrying about what the Fed may bring to crypto this year, with Pentoshi, among others, likewise calling a temporary end to the bull run. And the final question is, can crypto ignore the Fed if it decides to go all out wielding a deflationary machete? I doubt it. Analyst Alex Kruger concluded in a series of tweets on this issue this weekend. And this video is already 12 minutes long, roughly, so I want to end it here, even though there's a lot more information that we can go over, and we will because this is the Web3 channel, but I don't want to make this video too long. So with that being said, if this video was interesting or helpful to you, a like is always much appreciated. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel for everything happening in the Web3 space. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next Web3 video.